Hey there, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. Tonight I'm going to show you how to make a stir fry sauce, but I'm going to use that stir fry sauce to make my dinner. So the recipe is for sweet soy, honey and ginger stir fry sauce. Here's what we need. I'm going to be serving it with stir fry pork strips, some frozen stir fry vegetables and some noodles. So we will need a wok, a jug to make the sauce in, and a bowl to soak the noodles in. So come on in, I'll talk you through the ingredients, and then I'll get started on the stir fry. And then while the stir fry is stir frying away, we can make the sauce, which is the main star of the show today. So let's go. Okay, so the kettle's just boiled for the noodles. So even though they say they're wok ready, you still need to soak them in some hot water. So they'll be all right for a couple of moments while we talk ourselves through this. So we need half a cup of keycap manis, which I very rarely use. And I've had half a fight with the bottle that was in the fridge and I've opened a new bottle finally. Two tablespoons of honey. I'm going to have another fight with that as well. Three centimetre piece of ginger, peeled and finely chopped. I'm just about to start finely chopping it. This is a very good recipe for winter time because you've got ginger and honey as well, plus your veggies. So I saw it and thought, yep, that's going to be a good one. And a quarter of a cup of chicken stock. Now what I've done is I've deglazed the old bottle of Keycap Manus. That is why the water is that colour. I spilled a lot of it because I couldn't get the lid off. And then all I need to do is just add some chicken stock powder. So I've got 500 grams of pork strips, which I got from the butcher. And I had some um, stir fry oriental veggies in the freezer and I want to use those up. Plus the noodles, which I just grabbed from Coles because I shopped in Coles the other night. And these are just the wok ready noodles so we're going to get the pork strips on first um, i'll be doing that in the background but as i say the main star of the show is the sauce that's why we're here tonight all right um this this stir fry will serve four so let's go okay so i've just popped the noodles into uh soak in the boiling water and now I'm getting the pork strips in. So I'm just using the stovetop wok. I was going to get the electric wok out, but it's getting late and I don't really want to be washing up a lot. So I'm just going to put all the strips in. And I'm just using olive oil. You can use um, your favourite oil. You might have an oil that you like for stir frying. Peanut oil is also good. So is vegetable oil. But come on over and have a quick squeezy at what's going on. Woo! All right, so that is just 500 grams of pork strips. Beautifully cut up by my butcher. And the noodles. Just soaking in boiling water and another couple of minutes and I will drain those. So let's go and work on the sauce now because this will be fine. I'll just keep coming back to stir it. Okay, so to make this delicious sauce, literally all we are doing is we're adding the keycap manis. which for you that don't know, it is just quite simply a sweet soy sauce. It's very tasty, but I very rarely use it. So I've had that for a long time. That was another reason why I chose to use this recipe as well. Um, then we are going to put in our quarter of a cup of chicken stock, which I need to deglaze that anyway. All right. I'm just going to leave that upside down. That will deglaze that. So we need a quarter of a cup. Oh, sorry. 
about a quarter of a teaspoon of stock powder. It doesn't hurt to use a bit more. If it's anything like the one I've got here, you're going to have to dig it out first. There we go. Use more, it's better. Okay, now the forks for when we're ready to whisk it. Also into here, we need to put two tablespoons of honey. I'm going to have a fight with that, as I said, because it's all solidified. Just go and stir the pork strips and grab out a colander because we're going to drain the noodles. So once your pork strips are cooked, that's when we're going to be putting in the um, vegetables. So you're basically cooking this the same way you'd cook any other stir fry, except you're not opening a jar of sauce, you're making your own sauce. All right, so with the ginger, it says to cut it very small. Um, I'm not a super fine chopper of little things and I certainly don't want to chop my fingers on the way so I'm going to chop it as small as I can because I'm sort of used to the taste of ginger so therefore I don't mind if it's a bit bigger. If you don't like a lot of ginger um you can actually use the jar of ginger, the minced ginger. And I guess you'd probably use about a tablespoon, maybe a bit more. But any time I get the chance to use fresh, I will use fresh because to me I think you get more benefit from it. And the good thing about this was I just borrowed a little piece off a big piece to buy it. All right. Let's give that a go. All right. In goes the ginger. I'm already making such a mess. All right. I'm going to go stir the pork and I'll be back. Okay, that was painful, but there's the first tablespoon. And we've got to get another one. So because my honey's solidified, because it does this, the only time I've got really good honey is obviously when I've just brought it. But it's not too bad. Maybe because, I was going to say maybe because it's winter, but winter sometimes makes things behave worse because they solidify more. I don't know. Anyway. There we go. That wasn't too painful. All right, so into our jug, we should have the following. Half a cup of keycap manis, two tablespoons of honey, a three-centimeter piece of ginger peeled and finely chopped, or as fine as you want to, and a quarter of a cup of chicken stock. So once you're at that level, grab a fork, and it should look like that, and just give it a whip. And there we have it, sweet soy, honey, and ginger stir-fry sauce. Now, onto the stir-fry. Pork should be ready for the veggies, so let's go. Okay, now it's time to open the stir-fry veggies. And I am going to put all of them in. Only because I want to get rid of them. I'm defrosting the freezer in a few weeks and the more I can get rid of, the better. And I also feel like it's going to be one big frozen mass in the middle. I don't feel like I know. Whoops. Whoop. There we go. Beautiful. Look at that. So that will break down eventually. And once that's all broken down, we will put that sauce in and then we will put the noodles in. So keep it on a high heat, keep stirring it. So that's a good way to get your veggies. Nice healthy dinner. 
And a quick dinner at that too. All right, if yours are as frozen as that, I would suggest that you maybe defrost them for a bit first. I should have got them out of the freezer. We are still in the middle of winter, so it wasn't really a good idea putting a frozen thing in the middle of it. Anyway, oh, there we go. Breaking up pretty quick. All right, I'm going to bring that sauce over because I really want that sauce to simmer away nicely. So I may have to put, don't know if I'm going to put a little bit of extra water in just to try and get all that out. I think I will. I'm going to put a bit more water in that. I want to deglaze that. I'm a big fan of deglazing things lately. All right. That's probably a bit too much water, but fear not, I think it will be fine. There are noodles in it, and they will help with some of that excess water. But then again, we are going to be putting extra water in because we've got all these veggies. So let it um, really come to the simmer, the boil. We've got to cook the veggies. All right. I think I put too much water in it. All right. Don't worry about it, though. Surely the noodles will take up the slack. All right. Pop your timer on for maybe about 10 minutes and let that really simmer. That way you'll burn off a lot of that water, and then we can put the noodles on the top. Okay, so now it's bubbling away. Grab the noodles and in they go. Just try and separate them once you put them in. They look like yellow worms. Smash them in. That's it. Beautiful. Okay. Simmer them for another couple of minutes and then we're going to be ready to dish up. Right. Thank you for watching this episode of Cooking with Violet Vixen. This has been sweet soy honey and ginger stir fry sauce served as a pork veggie noodle stir fry. Catch you soon!